Now, as we watch this complete breakdown of the central bank system, we need to remember one thing that's very important. The American people, and not just the American people, the world has never seen a central bank system implode on itself. Why? Because normally they would have an event which would cover it up. No one would really notice that it was the central bank. The problem that the central banks are having right now is that they don't have that event they wanted. They are completely exposed and they know it. And if you really listen to what the IMF is saying, what the other central banks are saying, they're scrambling to figure out a way on how to explain why the world, why the growth is slowing, why everything is deteriorating, why everything is imploding, and why we're approaching another crisis. Because remember, during the period from 2008 all the way up to 2016, they told us everything was great. And actually, going from 2008 to 2016, and we reported on this many, many times before, they told us that this is a slow recovery. The economy is getting better. This is what it looks like. And now all of a sudden, the economy is no longer getting better. It's not recovering. They're talking about crisis because they knew that their system would only last for a certain period of time. And they were hoping for an event. Now the world gets to see what it looks like when the central bank system implodes on itself. This is their worst nightmare coming true. And it's happening in real time. This is why you see retail. This is why you see housing. This is why you see the debt problems. This is why you see the central bankers out there trying to explain away how they can maybe manipulate this and make it better. It's not going to work. As we can see, which we reported on Friday, the IMF was already out there saying that, you know, the next crisis, the Fed might not be able to help because of political rage. What they're really saying is that they've lost control. The Patriots are in control and they don't think the Federal Reserve, which is the dollar reserve system, which is around the world, they don't think the central bank here in the United States is going to be able to maneuver and manipulate the economy anymore by transferring funds to many different central banks. This is a complete nightmare for themselves. So what do we see happening around the world? Well, out in the UK, we can see that brick and mortar retail, not just brick and mortar, but online retail and combined together is not working. It is declining. Actually, this is the worst December in sales performance in the last 10 years in the UK. And when you look at it, everyone says, well, everything's transferring from brick and mortar to online sales. Actually, it's not happening at all. Actually, out in the UK, only 20% of total retail sales are online. The rest are not. And this is not because of the Brexit, because we see this happening in many, many other countries. What is happening right now is we're seeing the entire system implode on itself. And they can't cover it up. I remember going way, way back in the beginning, uh, not in the beginning of time, but back to 2008 when we we're going through this recovery. Any time something didn't go the way they wanted, and they blame retail back then on weather. And then when it was sunny out, they couldn't blame it on weather. So then they started to blame it on online sales. And then when you looked at the online sales and brick and mortar combined and sales were still weak, they couldn't figure out what else to do. This is what it looks like when, when a central bank system is imploding on itself and the mainstream media, the central bank, the deep state, they're having a very difficult time explaining away why all of this is happening. Now, we know the plan is to bring down the system and expose it all. And what we're seeing right now is that the central banks are being exposed all on their own. 
And of course, this is part of their plan. Now, during the shutdown, which is very interesting, there are many different agencies that were shut down. One of them was the IRS. And the IRS, they are saying that because of the shutdown, they are buried in millions of unanswered taxpayer letters. They're weeks behind schedule on training for workers, and they're needing to hire thousands of new employees for this tax filing season. And it might take months or a year to recover from this. Now, you need to think, was this part of the plan? Because we know if we're going to bring down the central bank, we're going to be bringing down the IRS. And when you look at this, you can see that this is going to be a problem. Now, we know there's two bills that are floating in the House, H.R. 24 and 25, one by Thomas Massey, which is going, which says audit the Fed. The other one is abolish the IRS. And we know to bring down this system, we need to bring down all of it. We just can't do one or the other. And we understand that to expose the deep state, you need to have an event. You need to show the people why they are responsible. And we know that the deep state, they don't want this to happen. We know the central bankers, and I'm talking about the Rothschilds, I'm talking everything above the Fed, everything above Powell. They don't want this to happen. This is why the IMF is out there frantically trying to figure out what they can do to solve this problem. But it looks like, from what we're seeing right now, the patriots are in control of the central bank here in the United States. Trump has been tweeting out and contradicting the Fed for quite a while, telling the Fed what to do, when to do it. And we know from Q, and we're going to go back to post-2575, Q has told us that they understand the plan. They understand the deep state. Their plan has always been for the Fed to raise rates, raise them quickly, which they started to do during the 2016 election. And as soon as Trump came into office, they really raised the rates until Powell was put into place and Yellen was out. Then everything started to change a little bit. And what do we see happening? Well, during the first year of Trump's presidency, they were still saying that this was Obama's economy. He recovered it. It looked great. Trump came in, and then all of a sudden he started getting rid of TPP, renegotiating NAFTA, getting rid of all the globalist trade deals. Then to start, then he started to implement tariffs. And this is when they started to push the idea that tariffs were going to bring down the economy. What do we see happening today? Well, this is very interesting because the central banks are starting to realize they are no longer in control of the Fed. Remember, there's different central banks around the world, the ECB, we have the IMF, we have the biz, we have the Federal Reserve. So what has happened since Trump came into office? Well, the globalist plans, he's unwinding them and he's putting together bilateral trade agreements and getting rid of all the globalist deals that they put together. He's also taking control of the central bank with Powell. Q has told us they know the plan for 2020, what they were trying to do. So right now, we see the Federal Reserve scaling back the interest rates. We see Washington is backing off tariffs and trade war rhetoric. We see that everything is being reversed. Why? Because Q has told us they understand what the deep state plan was for 2020. Now, we understand that there are certain individuals that are going to be running in 2020 because they do believe it's a sure thing that Trump is going to be thrown out and they're going to be able to take his spot. Because remember, their plan is to destroy the economy during this period of time. What they don't understand is that Trump, the patriots, they are in full control right now. And remember, the central banks never want it to look like they brought down the economy. So what is the ECB doing right now? They decided, you know what? We're not going to raise rates right now. Actually, we see China, they've launched quantitative easing to help prop up their slowing economy. 
Everything is being reversed. Now, is this going to make the economy better? No. It's called kicking the can down the street. Trump has the magic wand. He understands how to manipulate the economy on a statistical level to make it look fantastic. He doesn't want the deep state to get the upper hand during the 2020 election. And who do we see who uh, might throw their hat into the elections of 2020? Well, Clinton. Because they do believe, and the only reason they would do this is because they think it's a sure thing. But as you can see, everything is being reversed. They're going to be in for a rude awakening. They're not going to understand why this didn't happen. Because this is the card they're playing. Bring down the economy, make the people angry. And once the people are angry enough, because the economy is not doing well and everyone's suffering, they're going to want who? Another candidate. This is what happened during 2008. Think about the stock market coming down during that period of time. McCain, he had no clue what was going on. Obama had the upper hand at that time because he was talking about the economy, saying that the economy wasn't doing that well, and all of a sudden it crashed. McCain had no idea that the economy was so bad. They didn't give him the information because they wanted a certain person in there, and that was Obama. This time around, they think they're going to use the same exact trick. The difference is Trump, he has the magic wand. He's in control of the Federal Reserve. This is why the IMF is complaining. And we see the other central banks, they're starting to reverse everything that they were doing because they understand that they can't be caught up in being exposed on the entire world coming down. Now, this does not mean that the central bank won't be exposed. There's a time and place for everything. It's all part of the plan. Once the election is over and Trump is in office, the plan will continue. All of a sudden, Trump will have the freedom. Trump will have the next four years. Trump will have full control of the entire system. Phase two of the plan will then come into view. We will then see him go after the central bank because what will be happening with everything else is that you'll see arrests you'll see everything else happening and then they can move into phase two so everything is set for a specific time period and they understand they need to protect certain things before they can move forward they have plan they have contingency plans and they know exactly what they're doing do we know the full extent of all the plans? No, because this would be ridiculous because then the deep state would know the entire plans. The central banks would know all the, t all the plans. This would, this would not make any sense. But we can look into what they've been doing and we can see which direction they're headed. Now, of course, there's going to be twists and turns on the way, but we understand the main goal is to bring down the entire deep state apparatus, to bring down the central bank apparatus because you need to do both and they're going to do both, and you can see we're headed in that direction. The Patriots are in control. Listen, everyone, thanks a lot for listening. Be well, be safe, and especially be prepared. Thanks a lot.